psych, I'm a real person, but yeah. you hope you get to figure that person out. See, yeah, that's I'm waiting on that with my mom, and I, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's, uh, I think what it is is legality. Once I can get like a majority of the states to legalize, that's what I me said. And my, me, me and my yeah. mom are. I said sit down. once it's legal, yeah. I can, and because that's the only thing that she has that I can't be like, mom, like can't she's like it's that. illegal, and I'm like. I can't I can't argue with yeah, it because yeah. that is true. Yeah, that yeah. is totally true. Uh, and and but but once it's legal, I'm like, ha ha. Yeah, right. You have no, like if we went to Colorado, I've already decided. If we went to Colorado and she's like, did you do anything? I'd be like, yes, because it's legal. Yeah, it's yeah. legal. <laughs> People want to think ah, I'm doing the, the devil the horns. Devil horns. Ah. Uh, their tongue out. Yeah. 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 Gene Simmons. <laughs> 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 oh man, but uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, drugs aren't what make us creative. We're wonderful, yeah. fabulous people. My uh, mom was guilty was by like, association. I don't know of specific things that she did, but my dad was getting up to so much shit. There's no <laughs> way that they were yeah. together all that time growing up and, and being married when they were that Dad's they a yeah that they weren't doing. Your dad was crazy a greaser. Shit. No, no. He was, he was, he he was, was a like, cool dude, though. <laughs> Wait, yeah. one time, did he put a bag over some guys? There was, like, this bully that was picking on the little kids, so your oh, dad did was... did all the, kinds of stand-up so, for people. Yeah, so there was, like, mm-hmm. this bully that was picking on the little kids, and so he and his friend knew that they... This guy was kind of big, so they knew that it'd be difficult for them to, like, just jump him normally. So when he was coming around the corner... One of them was had a bag and tossed his like potato sack over his head and just start kicking the shit out of this guy and then ran off and he didn't know who did it and then your dad was like yeah and he never picked on and then like as they were running off they're like yeah I don't pick on anybody again and he never did but his dad was like, <laughs> like what's going on vigilante over- justice what's yeah, yeah, that's what his dad was right. yeah, when yeah, I was like a high good school, greaser they would like <laughs> there was like a kid that would get pinched uh, picked on and like hit the books out of this kid's hand and my dad and his buddy saw it. And they went up, and they're like, you pick them up. And the bully had to, like, pick up the books and hand it to the kid and say he was sorry. Nice. And, like, I hear about that kind of stuff, and I hear about him getting in all these fights growing up and standing up for people and being tough and stuff. And I'm also, I'm also happy that he admits and, and makes a point to mention, like, yeah, you can't do that anymore. And yeah. so don't, like, you know, don't get in fights and stuff yeah. like it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong you both get arrested so don't yeah. get in fights but like Pursued. it's one of those things yeah. where it's t- like hey dad tell the story about the time you were did this or yeah. that yeah, yeah. it's got so many good stories yeah. <laughs> yeah try to remember a couple things yeah. when you have a really good day write it down yeah. because someday yeah. you're going to want to know I and realize so I keep a podcast. journal yeah. uh, this so is sure. helpful um, but also like I have this journal I only write bad things in it Oh, I looked at it. Right. It was because I used it for you know catharsis to like yeah. get. I like, can't handle dealing with this anymore. I yeah. need to get it out of me. So I'd write it down. So like page after page of just like horrible. Yeah. Like, I don't feel good. This is bad. Yeah. This yeah, just yeah, happened. Girl. Like yeah. it's like fine. why yeah. do I have this? So I kind of don't look at it anymore. Yeah. I'll open it if I have to, but I never read it. And I'm yeah. like I have to burn this before I yeah. die, yeah. so that my children too. or other people don't ever imagine that I was like just this. Yeah, yeah. you know. I was just going to ask if you put it in the freezer, but you <laughs> said you were going to burn it. Well, I don't, I'm not going to burn it right now. I've still got pages left to but fill you put in. It in the freezer. you got to slow it down first. Freezer, it's a credit card. But then it would be in the freezer, and my husband would be like, what's that book in the freezer? I you said it, that it frightens you. Freezer right? space is like, out of premium. Like Joey, I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, I know what you're saying, girlfriend. <laughs> I know your friend's Are you talking reference? about the block of bills that's, like, frozen in the freezer in the No, no it's, it's, it's a book. It's about, he it's reads a book? Oh, because he's reading, yeah, it. Oh. Uh, was it in? Oh no! I thought it was. Did he put it little Vision in there? Shining, the Shining. The Shining. The Shining. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The Shining. Yeah. The Shining. Yeah. Uh, he put that <laughs> in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This podcast wow. started from a friend's reference or a friend's oh, conversation. We had a so. conversation that was fraught um, with uh, friends references. And uh, yeah, we, yeah, we talked this. way too much about friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah uh, Impossible. I enjoy the. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the the podcast is a good way to capture the moment of certain things that are going on for sure and I hope uh, as we develop it um, 
that it continues to be a revisiting of people as they move mm -hmm. on in their careers, mm -hmm. as things go on. Mm -hmm. When people, we, we like to talk to people, you know, you just talk to Lauren Canuti who just moved to L.A. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll talk to her in, in like six months or a year and see mm -hmm. where the journey is, what's going on yeah. then, what's, go, what's happening there. You know, I'm interested in knowing where people are and, and what yeah. their, what yeah. their, uh, stuff is to that end. We're uh, we've we've talked for a while, so I'd love to yeah, wrap yeah. up with a. Sure. Uh, uh, wait, I want to ask one last thing. Is uh, just a quick little wrap up. We can talk about um, what your like next projects are. What's or, or or not even next project like what's happening in three months, but like, like maybe what your next goal is. What you would like to achieve or mm. have or. What's the next thing that you're like, I want to call that my next milestone or something? If you have thought of one. If you haven't, hey, think of one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I have, like, things that I, like, I'm kind of writing this screenplay, but it's mm -hmm. not really, I would love for that to be done by the end of the year, but I don't know if that's going to be my next, because I, I procrastinate so much, and I one of those people that I'm like, I'll start writing in an hour, and then I don't. Mm. So I haven't really done much You've with been it. You're becoming much more disciplined about a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, I, I have ADD. I have ADD, so it is very difficult. But yeah, I I've tried to be very. Flows, yeah, yeah. I feel like you've been on, a lot, on top of a lot of yeah. stuff lately. Yeah, yeah. But um, I guess that's my my next thing. I mean, I'm doing. That's what you're working on. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing some other stuff like we're kind of doing this web series with a friend of ours and things like that oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that we're excited about starting to film um, but and there's like different things that I want to do but it's not there's nothing that I, I've even started the ball rolling except for that web series yeah, well I mean that's... even if it's not about things that the yeah. ball is actually even rolling yeah. on so much as like a further thing like for yeah. instance my like next huge goal the like yeah. thing that seems like we're fucking ridiculous have a yeah. lot of small goals is to the have way. yeah then I'll yeah. do a bunch of other things along yeah. the way it's not the next project at all but it'd be like I'd like to be a regular in a television series yeah I don't know uh, but I'm gonna try yeah. real yeah. hard oh, that's yeah. to goal. get that's the yeah. next yeah. like 20 years from now yeah. kind of goal uh, where it's yeah. like comedy, oh, with keep that, comedy, up that yes. thing in a There's, larger sense I just want to do I feel like that you always have I mean, I know there's so many opportunities for young, hip, new somethings or whatever, but I don't feel like you need to be super, uh, uh, I don't think it's generational comedy. Like, I think you can be a comedic actor at any age. Yeah. And so it's kind of a nice thing to be involved with, whereas, like, if I was, like, if I found my artistic expression to be in modeling... I would have to. There would probably be some cognitive dissonance going on where or I was kind of like, sports, I don't know. You know? or sports, yeah, sports. Like, <laughs> yeah, where after it, a certain tough. age, yeah. you're, yeah. you're like, out. I feel like we can just get better, and yeah. and I don't know. I think yeah, even important. I mean, even acting, you know, like that's something that, like, with that, even as much as it's like, well, there's a lot more roles and stuff for for you know older people or whatnot. There's still very much at least in acting in the non comedic world still somewhat feels very like skewed towards young hot things but it's a little mm. it's becoming very different mm. where it's like now you know women in there used to be like you hit 40 send them out the pasture you know for women at least and now it mm. feels like okay well now you got a little bit more time we'll give you to 50 uh, <laughs> as long as you dye your hair um, but it's like uh, but I have good skin yeah um, but well, yeah, with comedy stuff. I don't know what they for. Yeah. <laughs> about, yeah. You have to look young, essentially, yeah. Yeah, for as long as humanly yeah. possible. The it's, uh, yeah. But I think it's it's easier in comedy, especially, to maintain, uh, continue with opportunities as you yeah. as you get older and better. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, so my, my whole thing with pretty much everything is just like I want to be making progress. I guess it's tough in sports, but uh, uh, but like my job I have, like I always want to make sure, because I, I just took this sales job I've been doing for like seven or eight months. Before that I was working with kids my whole life. And uh, so like today I had a positive thing happen in the morning where I felt more capable and I felt like I, it was a sign that I had made progress in terms of my understanding of the product and blah, blah, blah. It's very complicated. 
Anyways, uh, like, th- I realized that more than, like, making a big sale or this or the other, feeling like I've made progress and become more capable, um, that's like, it's like a teach a man to fish, or give a man a fish, leave for a day, teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever and ever, he'll have so many fish, fish he'll be crazy, uh, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, for me, like, to, to feel like I'm building my skills so that I can do the bigger things, that is the big thing for me. So it's like, that's like a very hippy to be broad uh, goal. And another hippy to be broad goal is, uh, we were going to the TNM recently, and there was uh, these four youngsters... I don't know. They were probably only like eighteen or nineteen, yeah. but they looked they looked like they were in high school to me. I think they had just come from Improv Zero, and they were like, uh, we we're walking in to go do Sandbox or something. And this the one the of the boys, littlest the of them, littlest of them, who also looked like he was in charge. Which yeah, is nice. yeah. <laughs> he he went oh, and he and he kind of like looked at me. And I was like, hey, what's up? And he's like. We just saw you at uh, awesome. Austin Java on uh, Barton Springs, and man, that was so good. We loved it so much. I was like, "Oh, cool! Like, actually, this is where I do a lot of stuff." You should be like, "Oh, we were just going to like do Improv Zero and uh, um, check it out and everything." And I was like, "Like, I kind of make somewhat of a connection that like I contribute to their idea of like, hey, you can be a guy that people don't know and haven't heard of and still be funny and do like." Uh, you know, headline a, a, for 30 minutes at a, a, a you know small showcase, mm-hmm. and um, and 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 that's like a middle ground. Like I feel like if somebody sees sees that, they'll they'll see like, oh, that's realistic. Like I could do that maybe someday. Yeah. Whereas like if they're if if they're um, you know if that doesn't occur to them, might, they might not dip their toe. Yeah. Uh, and as far as specific things, I'm starting to do, I'm going to start doing more improv, uh, just like a little here and there, because uh, I think it's an important muscle for me to uh, kind of flex, but it is incredibly frustrating for me, uh, just because I, uh, I'm used to the stand-up thing, and I also hate it when I'm messing shit up for other people. Like, when I mess up my own stuff, it's like, well, that's fine. I eat shit all the time. It's no big deal. Uh, uh, like, I'll learn from it. It'll be great. But when somebody, like, I'm wrecking a show and somebody's grandma's in the audience, I go, like, oh, Jesus, why did you do that? Like, you wrecked everything. Like, no. that, that sticks with me a lot more. It's, it's yeah. inevitable. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think, like, <clears throat> letting that stop me would, is, like, not great. Um, I got a couple of things I'm working on right now that are, like, uh, bigger swings, but I'm I'm gonna try to do the thing where you're like, don't talk about it, so you feel don't feel like you did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Start talking about it. Yeah, yeah. That's something Chris Chu told me a long time ago, and boy, had I been breaking that rule previous to that, like you go know, talking about the things you want to do, and then you don't really feel like you gotta do them because yeah. you get you get the rush of telling people that you're gonna do them. Yeah. Um, it's very yeah. easy to do. It's it's yeah. addictive too because you get a little dopamine rush off of it um but yeah uh so I, I think overall just making progress um and as much as it's like well after a while it's like no not with comedy you can always get better no yeah. question yeah you'll yeah. always be so far from perfect you know that's not a realistic concern yeah you know we we have had conversations before where it's like uh with some guests where it's like it, if are you going to stop doing comedy in the future and be a bank manager yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Are you gonna do that, or is this what you're doing? Oh, and yeah. I would say most people that we talk to are like, "No, I'm gonna do this." Or, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe one or two have said like, "Well, I could do this other thing." So it's yeah. like, yeah. "All right." You know what? And that's cool. I I totally get that. I I think people sometimes they get mad when they hear that because yeah. they don't want to think that they could ever yeah. not think that way. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. afraid of the thought. Well, if it if I think if Jimmy Pesto. <laughs> if he is, uh, if he's able to quit comedy, and I always, I used to look up to him. Now I, you know, like subconsciously, like, what if that's going to be me someday? And yeah. I, I think there's certain journeys in your life, you know what I mean, and it ebbs and flows. I mean, even like, uh, you know, with the people, I, I like to live project to project in a real sense, like, like during that project everything matters in that moment yeah. and all the people and we're having an experience Focused. and then when it's over then it's like hey that was great and then we mm. move on to the next project and I'm not too worried about you know whatever that might be I mean 
I work temp gigs all the time. I feel like I share something with the fellow temps. I had a temp yeah. gig today. You're good at transitions, then. Yeah. 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 That's all I. That's I'm all so, I want. Yeah. That's all yeah, I do. I'm crappy at. Oh, I'm so bad. Saying I have avoided saying goodbye to people who have moved because I'm like, nah, nah. This goodbye means it's done. So I've been like, I'm at work. I'm just not going to.